so now we're going to take a look at computing some partial derivatives by hand or algebraically um, and we'll get a couple basic examples and then I'll have a couple videos later with some more difficult examples the biggest thing is to remember you know when, whichever variable you're taking the derivative with respect to the other one is a constant so here's my function f of x y and let's say I want to find I'm gonna call it f sub x this is the derivative of f with respect to x. Now you, a lot of times you'll see an x, y in here. Sometimes I write it just as f of x for shorthand. That means 5y is now a constant. I can forget about it. So basically I'm just taking the derivative of 3x squared with respect to x, which is 6x. Very similar, if I do f sub y, I'm going to ignore that part. And now it's just the derivative of 5y which with respect to y is just 5. Now we'll also talk about the second order partials. We have an f sub x x which is the derivative of f sub x with respect to x. So I'm going to take the derivative of this guy again once again with respect to x. So the derivative of 6x with respect to x is just 6. f sub y, I'm going to do f sub y y well, f sub y is 5, it's just a constant. The derivative of that with respect to y is 0. Finally, we have something we call the mixed partials. We have f sub x, y, which is going to be f sub x now with respect to y. So we're taking the derivative of 6x, but with respect to y. So x is now a constant as far as this next derivative is concerned. So f sub x, y is actually just 0 because we're taking the derivative of a constant with respect to y. Lastly, we got f sub y x. Derivative of a constant is just zero even though it's with respect to x. And remember, our mixed partials should be equal to each other if we have a continuous function. I'm going to pull out another example here while we got the video running. So we have the function z equals the quantity x plus 3y times the quantity 2x minus y. And so, again, I like using this notation. Not everybody likes it. z sub x. Take the derivative of z with respect to x. That makes that a variable and that a variable, this not and this not. One way I can do this one, I could multiply it together beforehand, or I can use product rule. All our old rules still apply. So I'm going to hold this one constant. So x plus 3y times the derivative of this second part with respect to x, which is just 2. Plus, now I'm going to hold this part constant, 2x minus y, times the derivative of this part with respect to x. This, this is a constant, so the derivative of that is just 1. We can do a little bit of uh, simplifying here. We have 2x plus another 2x. So we'll have 4x, because we're just going to be distributing a 1 through there. We have a 6y minus y, so plus 5y. That'll be useful when we do our second order partials. z sub y. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, except I'm holding, the y, I'm holding x constant. y is now my variable. So I'm still going to hold this first part, leave it alone, so x plus 3y. But now when I take the derivative of this part here, I'm taking with respect to y. So it's a negative 1. Plus, now I'm going to hold th leave this part alone, 2x minus y, times the derivative of the first part with respect to y now. So this is a constant. Derivative of 3y with respect to y is 3. So f, or sorry, z sub y we're calling it. If we simplify, we'll have a negative x plus 6x, so 5x, a negative 3y minus another 3y is minus 6y. You can already see our second order partials are not going to be too bad. Let's start with z sub x, x. So I go to z sub x, which is this one here, first one, and taking the derivative with respect to x, which makes that a constant, it's just 4. z sub y, y is going to be real similar. I'm going to take the derivative of this guy with respect to y, so that's a constant, so that's negative 6. 
Now we always should do our mixed partials and make sure they come out to be the same. We'll start with z sub x with respect to y. The derivative of that is 5. Because this is a constant, so it's derivative of 0. Derivative of 5y with respect to y is 5. z sub y x. Derivative of z sub y with respect to x is 5. Once again, they're the same. Pretty cool. And so that's how we can calculate partial derivatives. Oops, sorry about that.